you very much. Thank you to Creation for having us back, especially Zach. <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> How is everybody? <laughs> Glad to see everyone's alive and healthy. I see some of your faces, some I can't. I like the choice. <laughs> That's good. So, what would you guys like to talk about? It's been a while since I've done one of these. This is my first one since the COVID times. Yeah, I'm actually kind of nervous. Yeah, it's my first post-COVID convention. Yeah, except you that mean. there was a weird online one. <laughs> That's right. You, I didn't do that one. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you guys do the online convention? Yes. Yeah. Was it good? Better than nothing. <laughs> I'm just not really test at me at all. You know, you guys know me. Yeah. But yeah, I was because I was in my small town in Ohio with my mom. So I had no Wi-Fi. Oh wait. So 445. Wi-Fi. Problem you face in the country. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's talk. Let's get, let's do this. Yeah. What are we doing? You got questions on your side, guys. Let's get these questions going. Hi guys. Hi. Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Emily, and I was wondering, this is a question for Matthew, what was your favorite scene to film with Ian Somerhalder? <laughs> I, there are a few that come to mind, but I, I, there was a, there was a fight sequence, I think, between uh, Alaric and Damon, where Alaric was still trying to kill Damon, if I remember correctly. Uh, season one, it's been so long. Um, but that was a lot of fun too, because that was a fun scene to shoot with Ian, because he and I were also getting to know each other as, as actors, and it was very new and very fresh, so it was like our relationship as actors and friends was blossoming along parallel to Alaric and Damon. So I always enjoyed uh, the earlier season one, season two scenes with Damon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, my name's Amanda. And my question is, if you could switch characters with anyone on either Vampire Diaries Originals or Legacy, who would you choose and why? I love this question. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. I, uh, you know, hate to be a broken record, but I'll still take Rebecca. <laughs> Ah, uh, gosh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know who I would do. I'd, I'd have to just pick something sort of absurd. What do you think I should do? <laughs> who should I switch characters with? Hope? <laughs> I'll be a driver. <laughs> Klaus. Klaus. I played Klaus first. I want everyone to remember that. <laughs> I always love to remind Joseph of that, too. <laughs> But he hates it. <laughs> did, we, did, we all, did, we did you play Klaus? It didn't, yeah. Like, it was when he was like jumping through people. Oh, that's right. See, we all, yeah. That's nice. Because Trevino did it. We all fathered Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Klaus. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hi, my name is Sashana. Um, this is a question for both of you guys. Um, who was going to be guest star in Legacies that was in the original of MFNR? I can't say. I can't say. But there will be some. Definitely not Matt Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new sheriff in town right here. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it was a great find. Uh, excuse me? I wonder where Matt Dunn is right now. Like, where is he? On the road, broke down in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the hell out of this. <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. We're going to on a honky tonk. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Where were we with that question? Do you remember? I uh, don't no. <laughs> I just know that Matt's not doing it. <laughs> We'll have to get him back. We'll get we'll get that Donovan back. I think. 
We'll see. I'm surprised that Caroline hasn't shown up, honestly. Ah, uh, yes. That's what I always kind of thought was going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, I think she's in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. It's above my pay grade. <laughs> Um, yeah, but we're gonna have we're gonna have some we're gonna have a, we're gonna have some really good actual guest star crossovers from the originals in season four of Legacy. <laughs> Down the way around the lake, uh, yeah. So it, it'll, I think season four for Legacy two is gonna be our best season because we're gonna have a lot of cool people come back. We're gonna have like it's gonna be more like Vampire Diaries. I think totally. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're gonna. I think, you know, you know, we've defeated Malabar, so that chapter is closed, and I think we're going to open up a new chapter to um, a deepening of the characters and in and, and, and tone. I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of fun. So you'll see some familiar faces. We're going to go on a different journey with the characters, and I think uh, I think you guys will like the season a lot. <laughs> like <a> season. <laughs> what do you got down there? Hi, this question is for Jack. Um, I think it's time that we actually have a hottie of Mr. Fourth calendar with you and your shadow bag, I wouldn't be mad behind that. Wow. Yes. That's insane a lot. I really appreciate that. Yes. But let me assure you that right now is not the time for the first. <laughs> there's, uh, there's some stuff you could Photoshop from about a decade ago. <laughs> Come back to me in about six weeks. I'm going on a diet. No, man, I, I, I say go for it. Just do it. Just do you know, it here's the thing. Dad yeah. bought in. <laughs> there you go. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. <laughs> Have the best plot, in your opinion, like to watch and or to shoot. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Mm, I'm uh. Is season three your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say the first three seasons, I think, and I like season six. Um, Say yeah, like maybe one, three, six. Um, if memory serves, right. Somebody, a friend of mine, asked me the other day, like, how long have you been playing this character? And I was like, uh, ooh, <laughs> twelve seasons. Twelve wow. seasons. Yeah. So like sometimes, it, sometimes it's like the, the Rolodex questions that go back to Vampire Diaries. I'm like, fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, anyway. Thank you. Hi, my name is Natalia. My question is for Matthew. Um, I was wondering, uh, Lark had many different plots. He was a dad, he was an uncle, he was a teacher, he was a hunter. Um, and then he went crazy for a little bit. I was wondering, <laughs> which of the plots was your favorite? Oh, God, that's such a great question. And I, I've just been processing that a lot lately, too, because I'm not... I'm not so sure because I've, I've just seen it from a, a higher perspective of the whole journey and how it's been really a remarkable experience for me as, an, as, a, as somebody who wanted to be an actor and loves the, the craft of acting to be able to, to exist with this character for as long as I have and go through all of these crazy journeys creatively has been a real blessing. So I, I'm not quite sure. I think I'm thinking this season, season four of Legacies will be my favorite season for a while. Oh. Um, I watched for the first time when I was in high school, and I would watch it at like 2 a.m. And when you were murdering people, it was the scariest part of my life that I couldn't <laughs> see. You were so good. Okay. It was scary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jada. My question is for Zach. Um, at any point in time, did you want Matt to turn into a vampire? Or were you okay with staying in uh, I mean, there were definitely times where I thought it'd be cool. Uh, in the beginning, I was like, you know, 
because I saw the big contacts and all that stuff that they wear. And after the CGI <laughs> came into effect, I was like, oh, I don't know, it might be cool, you know. Uh, there was something erotic about it. But, you know, I, yeah, I think it's cool that Matt was the only one. You know? And he stayed alive. I had a magic ring. I think if Matt Donovan came back to Mystic Falls, we should learn that he's actually now a vampire. He should yeah. come back as a vampire. No, that, that, like you went to the honky tonk. <laughs> you, you got turned. You were, yeah, you were, you were in the honky tonk slinging beer, and you get a hot chick picks you up, and you cut to you out in the back alley making out. Feeling and sorry for myself. Feeling sorry for yourself, and she turns into a vampire and she bites your ass. <laughs> cut to Matt Donovan shows up to Mystic Falls. No one knows for sure. And this time he doesn't need to worry about his truck because he can't run out of <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm confused on which side I'm on. My question's for Zach, and I was wondering if you liked being a human the entire show, or did you want to be supernatural? <laughs> uh, well, I do. I do. I was proud to be the only human. Uh, I thought that was. Uh, was kind of Matt's superpower. Uh, I sometimes, as an actor, and, and I'm sure Matt was probably a little jealous when like the vampire stole his girlfriend and like killed his sister and all these terrible things. <laughs> I'm sure he was like, ah! oh. <laughs> do that. I'm sure he was like, I wish I had so much fun. Sorry. It's, 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 imagine him on set. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it's cool. Uh, you know, that was like his, his superpower. Thank you, love you. You too. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Aria. Hi, I'm Nina. This is a question for both of you. Um, we were wondering what the funniest thing that happened on the Vampire Diary set was. It's a question that gets asked all the time. At this point, I forgot. <laughs> you know, I. I, I always have a hard time with this question because there wasn't like really any one specific moment that was any more funny. I just felt like the whole time was just, we were always laughing. I always feel like we were always cracking jokes. Everyone was always busting each other's chops. And it was, we just always had a really good rapport. And so I, I know Paul would like have me in stitches and he would have me in Anytime stitches. Anytime you walked off set or left to work, it was like, did I just do some crunches? And yeah, I mean, I just felt like I was always laughing. Like everyone was super good. They like, apologized. They, Please, we need to get the day done. You're like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It was a good time. Like everyone was really fun to work with, you know. And everyone was like, kind of had their own quirky, kooky ways of looking at the world. And we were all sort of like bonded. And it was crazy. I mean, I definitely cleared a set one time with. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the term crop dusting, but <laughs> <laughs> we were inside the Mystic Grill. <laughs> and I was behind the bar set up, and I did it in. Uh, uh, Jeff with shots, our camera guy was back there. He was like, no, that's the, hold on, stop. He had to set the camera down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was that kind of stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Jen. Hi. Um, I was wondering if there was any one specific moment that stands out to me than any others, apart from just the general memory of it just being a good time. Everyone had a pretty good yeah. sense of humor. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, Zach, I just wanted to say thank you for 15 years ago when I used to watch you as KCP. But that's a little turn. I'm probably the only years old. And I just want to say, since you guys are on a supernatural show, do you believe in the supernatural? And without giving details, have you ever had any supernatural experience? You're talking to the right guys. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is yes. <laughs> I am. Other answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, I, I definitely believe in the supernatural. I definitely think there are things happening outside the, you know, the visual spectrum of things. Uh, you know, whether that's aliens or demons or vampires. Or well, I mean, at this point, uh, which is it's funny because like around the time we started the Vampire Diaries, Matt and I were constantly being like, they're eventually going to release all this shit to the public, and we're not going to look so crazy. <laughs> well, now it's like they did release a lot of things to the public, and 
The force going to still look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have. They're, they're, they're releasing all the alien stuff that they know about. They know that there are aliens out there. We're not crazy. <laughs> I mean, listen, if the Navy said it, it's true. Okay. <laughs> I do remember having an experience early on in my 20s. I think I was meditating. I had like one of these sort of like meditation moments. Like my mind popped open and I was like, oh, I could see the universe from this completely different vantage point, and I felt at one with the universe. I, I had never done mushrooms <laughs> up to that point, so I assumed it was like a mushroom trip. And I can later assure you it was very much like a mushroom trip. <laughs> but at the time, the thought arose in my mind, I was like, I think vampires are real. <laughs> that was like the first thought that popped into my head. I'm like, vampires are real. And I like turned to my girlfriend, I'm like, vampires are real. Vampires are real. And I was like euphoric. I was like, that is this euphoria. I was so free. I could see the world for what it was. And I like wandered out into the street. Like I almost got hit by a car. And I crossed the street and sat down on some railroad tracks. I'm like, vampires are real. And, and it was the strangest thing ever because then I ended up on this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your question. <laughs> Hi, so I, my question is for Matthew. If your character from, was from Legally Blonde, who was in Vampire Diaries, <laughs> how long do you think he would survive? Not at all. <laughs> That's the best question I've ever been asked. That's hilarious. <laughs> Warner stumbles into Mystic Falls. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, it's the same time as Matt Donovan stumbling back in the kind of... Oh man, that would be... <laughs> that would be wild. I'm gonna pitch this. Warner shows up in Mystic Falls. Gets bit. Maybe by this guy. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'd love that. I'd love to see Warner get his ass bit. <laughs> That's a great question, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Lloyd. Hi. Um, this is for both of you. I've been asking this question to everybody, so I want to know, um, what is the dumbest way that y'all have injured yourself? <laughs> injured? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jay, or...? <laughs> You know, I got a time. I got a time. Do you have time? I'm thinking of a time right now that you got injured. <laughs> Don't ruin my time if I know what you're going to say. I don't know what you're going to say, but I know what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm going to let you go. So, you know, I had this uh, condo down in Atlanta, in the park. Anyway, I woke up early to go run, but it was, it was, a, I was stiff. It was a stiff morning, and um, I walked across the street, and I was going to go get some coffee, and I, I had to sneeze. I felt like a sneeze building up in my nose, and I sneezed so violently, I threw my lower back <laughs> Stretch first. I'm gonna stretch. <laughs> I see. I know. I should have told that fucking story. You know, like, look, you look you differently. Um, look at you differently. Oh, I think it's weird. <laughs> Which you're telling me. I wasn't gonna think of it. I, I, there, there was this time that I should have told Matt. Uh, should have given him some instructions, but I just thought he'd, <laughs> he'd figure it out. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, scope eye. Okay. So Zach advised me to go to the hunting camps. So Kill some deer, right? Because I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I sh eat meat. 
I go to McDonald's and eat meat, I'm, I should be able to kill an animal and eat it if I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's a responsible thing to do. And, and, and trying to be manly too. I'm like, okay, I'll kill the deer, I'll do it. I eat meat, I'll kill the deer. So, but I've never shot a rifle before, and so Zach takes me out in the hunting camp and he gives me, he's like, this is my father's rifle. Okay, he's got this big scope on it, it's a bolt action rifle. It's like a 33, it's big, and he's like, all right, so he like walks down like this little path and like sets up this target against the tree, walks back down, it's about 50 yards, he like turns over some milk carton, crate, milk crate, he like sets the rifle up on it, he's like, okay, he's like, just look down the site and shoot that target down there. And I was like, okay, I got this. So I'm looking through the, so the, the site, and I can't see anything, like I can't, it's like not in focus, it's like this blurring light, I'm like, I can't see anything. He's like, look closer. So I'm like, I'm looking closer. Like, oh yeah, it's in focus. He's like, all right, take the shot. So I fire, and the, the rifle recoils so hard and snaps back right in the eye. I have a splits his eye I have a right over. Scar on my eye because of this meathead's rifle that he didn't tell me. You're like in the middle of filming He's too. Like, look closer. I'm like. Right up he immediately turns around and he's got the dog scope on it. What's funny is that later uh, a buddy of ours was coming out to the camp. He was our special special effects guy. Greg. He was Australian. Yeah, Greg. He walks in. Greg comes there bleeding from my eyes. First thing he sees Matt and he's like, oh, scope on it. What? You didn't tell him? Like, yeah, he's like, Greg's like uh, Australian military <laughs> guy. So he like knows all about guns. We're always talking about guns with Greg. And he comes down. I just shot myself essentially in reverse. And I'm like, just flip my eye open, he looks around and he's like, oh, scope eye. <laughs> scope eye? Scope eye? This, 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 is, this is a thing. thing. This, this is a thing. I have a thing. It's scope eye. <laughs> first first sure. shot myself in the eye with my buddy's rifle. He, you. he knows how to shoot now. <laughs> and we went to go kill some deer in the morning and we didn't see any deer. <laughs> no deer, just scope eye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I was trying to think. I mean, I don't. I pulled my pants up and showed you my legs. The oh, I remember. I remember now. Okay, I got one for you. Okay, what's your cool one? Zach comes to work one day. He's like, dude, my balls. Oh God. Oh yeah. My balls no. are black and blue. <laughs> Eyes are black and blue. I was like, what? He's like, you have to see this. I'm like, I don't want to see it. I'm like, what do you have to do? He's like, I'm like, what did you do? He's like, well, no, I was riding my motorcycle and this woman pulled out in front of me and I T-boned her and I flew over the handlebars onto the ground and I must have clipped myself and didn't know it. And the adrenaline, I didn't really think about it. I, mean, I had to drive my broken motorcycle home. And the next morning I get up to take a shower and I'm like, shower and I look down and I'm like, oh! Shit! It's like when you castrate a hog and you put rubber bands around their balls, you just wait till they die and fell off. Well, that's what I was looking at. I was just like, fuck, man. I don't even know if I should go to work, should go to the hospital, I'm not sure what to do. And so, first thing I do is I go tell Matt, and I'm like, oh my god, dude, yeah, I don't know. I had to show you this. Like, I don't know what to do. And he's like, you know, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I'm like, you just look. And he's like, He's like, fuck, he's like, dude, we gotta go show Ian. I don't know what to do about this. So we walk around and we're in Ian's dressing room and Matt's like, show him, show him. Right, show him. Ian's like, Jesus Christ, why aren't you in the hospital? I mean, they, were, they, were, they were like that for a while. Yeah. Uh, but in, in my defense, that was hurtful. Uh, but uh, that sucked. Keep them coming. <laughs> We're warming up. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aria. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I have a question for both of you. Who would you bring back to life in Vampire Diaries and the originals and why? I'm not quite sure who's dead and who's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, on 
honest with you. I don't know who do a, to bring back. back. I thought David was there. That would have lost it. Oh, you know what? I know. Easy. On uh, Vampire Diaries, I would bring back uh, Vicky. You can come back. <laughs> Definitely Jenna. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. And Jenna for sure. Yeah. And Jenna for sure. Klaus. No. <laughs> I thought Melinda Clark was a ball to work with, so I would, I'd say just bring all the Donovans back. That'd be fine for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. really hurt was like the wedding scene like the end of se like end of season six like that that like wounded me as the character and as an actor that was like really one of the, the hardest moments for me I, I, yeah I, my thought trail off what was the question <laughs> I would I would not have her get killed on the wedding that's my point thank you for me like, that's what I would, I would change I would change that I would want for Joe and Alark to actually work and like start the family, like be like um, you know Mr. and Mrs. Smith type duo who have their kids that they take care of and show them the ropes, homeschooling. <coughs> you know, that's what I would change. Um, I think I would probably have had uh, Elena and Matt somehow end up together, like like a, like, a, like a, a kind of a scene or like a shot of like you like wondering what ever ended up happening and then you see like. A, Elena in the kitchen and Matt like walking in and like throwing his stuff on the counter and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I'm looking for those kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it coming. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I appreciate you making the trip. I hear you from the south. Yeah, we're from Houston. So. Oh, wow. Awesome. Glad you're here. Hi, Blue. Hi, Lark. Um, this question's for the both of you. Um, kiss, Mary, kill. Ian, Paul, or Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> kiss, Mary, kill. I guess uh, the times are changing, so. I think I kiss Ian. I think I would marry. Joseph, and I think I killed Paul. <laughs> See, I don't know, I'd probably kiss Paul. He's got the big lips. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very kissable. I'd marry Ian because he's really clean. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, <laughs> Klaus, you gotta go. <laughs> and his sick son, Joseph. <laughs> Good questions. Yeah, the, I mean, uh, you know, you. those were brave answers, I think. I think so. <laughs> He's married, but I'm, it's, uh, you know. <laughs> Hi, Lark. Um, so you your part. No. Hi, my name is Paula. Um, I asked this question to Daniel and Joseph at the last convention, and I want to see what you guys' answers are. So, who was the last person you texted, and what did it say? <laughs> on the show or just in life? In, in life, like like legitimately from your personal phone. <laughs> my last text? Yeah. Oh, it's to my wife. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, mine was to a friend. Personal friend. <laughs> she happens to be a physical trainer. Uh, trying to get back in shape. 
My wife said Aurora was crying. Aurora is Ripley's two-month-old uh, baby cousin. Aurora was crying and Ripley gave her her passy and kept saying, I know, I know, Aww. and keeps kissing her. And then I did that. I said, oh, wow. <laughs> and I did three, three hearts. <laughs> Hi, what? This question is for the both of you. If, I mean, what common, what do you guys have in common with your characters from DVD? Huh. What do you have in common with that? Oh, oh. 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 You are a human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have blue eyes. I have blue eyes. I do like. You like honky tonks? <laughs> <laughs> I like trucks. But do you like line dancing? I think we should have seen Matt Don do a little more yeah. line dancing and line dancing. Maybe some two step. I think. I did learn how to two step one time with Broken Spoke in Austin, Texas. So we can do that. Cool. <laughs> what, what, what do you have in common with Matt Don? I think this guy just remember to do. <laughs> My moral code? That's <laughs> your question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're good guys. Yeah. You got a heart of a lion. Both, both from small towns. We're both rednecks. Both, yeah. <laughs> both rednecks. How you do? Oh man, I, I was thinking about that the other day with Bro Mark, because you know, oh, he's like my 12 Matt years. is kind of like a teacher. He kind of is like the mentor, teacher guy. You, you can take a course on whatever he's into at that point. <laughs> and what's funny is that he came in to uh, Atlanta to be a lark in Mystic Falls, and we became buddies. And I wasn't one of his students per se, but then later you find out I was. And we're sitting on the floor of his apartment, just like hanging out, and like all of a sudden it kind of dawned on us both like, Wait a second. You just moved to Atlanta. You're playing a teacher, and his apartment was a classroom and an old high school that they turned into condos. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, he moved into a studio apartment that was an old classroom <laughs> that had a chalkboard. Like you can see where the old chalkboards were. It was. Uh, yeah, that was that was that yeah, that was. That's right. The beginning of the merge. The merge happened in the school at the Vast Lofts. Yeah, Vast Lofts. Sometimes I think I have too much in common with Alaric now. I'm like, gosh, Alaric, you have a, a sad, broken heart. <laughs> you know, so I was looking back over my life, and I'm happily married now. Thank God I love my wife to pieces. My life is in a much different place. But prior to my wife, it was just like a, a tortured road of broken relationships. <laughs> you know, because it's hard. You're an actor. You're like a gypsy. You're on the road. It's like you're dealing with all kinds of other things that just, it, I was, so I felt like this, this thing, I'm like, God, am I like, I'm lucky in love, like a lark? And then I like, that a, a heart that hung on my heart for a while. But then I got married and I went away. I'm fine. <laughs> I feel much better now. <laughs> but I also like teaching. I also, you know, like, I, I love the idea, of, like, now that I have my one daughter, because I'm teaching my daughter to box. I'm like getting back into boxing. And, you know, you're a father to a daughter, and, you know, and then you've been me, you're like, oh, no, I've got to protect you. You know, like you have to like protect yourself in this world, and so I'm teaching her how to box. So I'll go, Ripley, guard up, and she'll go like this. Aww. And then I'll go, Ripley, guard up, jab, and then she'll go. <laughs> and I'm like, this is it. So I, and I'm like, that's what I had like in common with Alaric too. I like, I want to protect my kids. You know, so I, I like I had that sort of like that synchronizing of that you know, making real this notion that you want to provide for your family and protect them. Thank you. Thank you. So first of all, I want to say thank you for Matt for doing the, the snap from the bed and snap with me earlier <laughs> in my photo op. Yeah. Did it turn out okay? It came out pretty good. Okay, good. 
Uh, and this is a follow-up to my previous Legally Blonde questions from the past two conventions. Uh, if you were to do a modern, updated remake of Legally Blonde and you were directing and casting it, who would you cast and why? Oh, damn you for asking me that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, that's, uh, that's like a blasphemy. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin to recast it. I love the question, by the way. I really do. Um, it kind of caught me like, like jab. Like, oh. Uh, but I don't know. Who would you like to see play Elle? That's a hard question because there have been many Elles because, as you remember from previous year, I asked you about the musical. So it's like, of all the people who have played her, her, and would we do a combination of a remake of the original or would we merge it with the musical? So that would be another. Ooh, Ooh yeah. interesting. Music. I'm stealing all these ideas. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll get back to the question. That was a good question. I'm not sure. Who would you, who, who would you recast as Warner? Ian? <laughs> Just kidding. I'd actually cast yeah. Paul. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Brilliant choice. Yes, Paul should be Warner in the musical remake. <laughs> All right, great question. Hello. My question is for Matthew. Who do you think would win in the merge, Lizzie or Josie? Oh. I, I don't know. That's a tough question. And I ask myself that question all the time. I'm like, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Just kidding. You love them all the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Who's your favorite? Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh, you want Lizzie to win? <laughs> Go Josie! Oh, we're going on opposite sides too. All right, fight. <laughs> Just kidding. So you, we got the Josie camp over here and the Lizzie camp over here. Josie. Josie. Lizzie. Lizzie. All right, Lizzie. Josie. Wow, we're on number. <laughs> um, no, that's good. I don't know. I don't know how they're going. I don't know what, what's going to happen. It's a scary thought. I know, like, Alaric spends as, as much time not thinking about it as possible. <laughs> he just doesn't want to think about it. Because it's, it's an awful situation. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. But I do wonder if I'm going to favor my first daughter over my second daughter. The second daughter do end of January. I love my first daughter so much. I'm like, you're the coolest kid ever. <laughs> I'm just going to have to tell your sister that you're still number one and she's number two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your heart grows in size, I'm told. Yeah. All right. <laughs> for different reasons. For different reasons? You love them for different reasons. You do. Yeah. yeah. That's what I do. Do you think Mystic Balls was safer before or after the South? <laughs> God, that's a great question too. Ah, oh, these are such good questions. <sighs> Safer. I mean, the notion of Mystic Falls ever being safe, <laughs> let alone safer. I don't know. I would say definitely safer. Yeah, and we're fighting all the damn monsters. We're keeping it safe as we can. Yeah, that's what we're fighting. We've got to fight up the monsters to save what we're saying is maybe the monsters exist. <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> Lark's going to have a massive existential crisis. He's like, ah, I've, I've made it worse. <laughs> I was trying to make it better. Call Matt Donovan. Do what? <laughs> I said call Matt Donovan. 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 I have no idea what anyone's saying. Call Matt. Call Matt Donovan. Donovan. Problem is he didn't pay his phone bill, so. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Donovan's a damn thing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Okay, so my I'm question is for that. Um, out of the relationships your character had, which one was your favorite and why? Mm. Did you have relationships? <laughs> <laughs> 
actually started the season off with uh, two people who were there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'd probably have to say uh, Rebecca. I mean, for a number of reasons, but uh, I think it just kind of made sense. Like, Matt kind of deserved it. Um, also, Claire Holt was uh, really cool to work with. She was uh, very, not demanding, like, of me, but just, like, the way she worked kind of made me want to up my game. And she was always, like, very on time, knew where to be. Yeah, she just, oh, you'd have to admit, like, all the Brits, all the Aussies, they were, like, very on point all the time. They were like, God, dude, like, you're already on your mark. And I'm like, yeah, I never went back to my dressing room. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm hanging out all day, too, fine. You are also just notoriously late. Oh, says so this guy. Says so this guy. Notoriously late. So what? late, in fact. I remember the end of season one, Marco Siega made us check in. Like, but like punch him like, like, like a time clock. Because he, he was always late. No, it wasn't oh, just me. There, was a few others. there were maybe. One time, though, the producers were going to send me to his apartment because no one could get hold of him. He was supposed to get Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Everyone was like very worried about like when should we call the fire department yeah, yeah, and break his door open. I don't remember. I think I just didn't get the schedule. I just <laughs> think you didn't think you had to work that day. Yeah, I think they changed the schedule on me. Then they thought I'd like, kill myself. <laughs> I may have put that in there. Well, I don't know. Like, I was been a little off lately. I don't know. I didn't pick up his phone call earlier. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. And he was just. Yeah, so maybe I don't have. <laughs> that was going to say it. Yeah. Uh, anywho. <laughs> What's my favorite episode with Jer Jeremy Gilbert? It'd probably be the one where Matt walks into his bedroom and sees him dead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow! I'm just kidding. If you, if you remember, actually, I had a pretty good, that was a good moment where I walk in and everyone's in there and I just barely noticed him out of the corner of my eye and he's on the bed and he's dead. And I had one of those kind of slow-mo teardrop rollers. The only one you did drops right at the right time. Uh, Put one of those out. That's how much you meant to me, you know? Uh, it happened in slow motion, too. <laughs> and probably when Matt and Jeremy were like killing vampires together, that was kind of fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know you had, like, all the, you guys hung out. Yeah. At one point, I don't remember when. One season. <laughs> Somewhere in there. I'm like, did you guys hang out? Or did I think it was in the middle of the season. Interesting. Yeah. You know what's funny is, at one point, my character was carrying a rifle. It was when we had, like, Wiccans on the show. And that rifle is the one that gave... That's right! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That rifle is in the show. They <laughs> gave me the damn stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Nicole. My question is for Zach. Um, I'm just curious, even if it's pure speculation, I need to know who killed Sarge Will on Jeremy. Oh. I need to know. Good question. We're talking about that in the earlier. Um, you know, probably her lame, jealous husband <laughs> finds out this ex military guy is stripping his wife. Uh, and if he looked through the windows and saw it happening, uh, you know, he'd be steamy, so. Uh, that was a good show, by the way. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably, probably Sarge Will. Or. I mean, uh, the husband, or Sergeant Will could have killed himself, you know? He was also very depressed. Um, you know, I, I learned actually in a scene on that show, like if your character's like supposed to be, you know, in the down and out, you know, like drunk and feeling sorry for himself, so, you don't make the choice to finish the whole 16 ounce. You can just take a swig and the audience can assume you probably have been drinking a bunch of <laughs> Instead, I made the choice of like, ah. <laughs> so I had to drink these 16 ounce cans, and we did like six or seven takes, and it was like iced tea, 
for like a kind of a nasty iced tea. And man, I threw up all the set. It was oh, no. disgusting. It's horrible. But uh, you know, live and you learn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Avery. My question's from both of you. Um, I was wondering, like, when you guys both knew that acting was in the future. Uh, well, when I was like five, my mom was working third shift at this factory. My dad would do plays at the county playhouse, so I would be like back here behind the curtains, watching my dad do plays. And I always remember as a kid, like, really thinking that was cool. Um, and then like around high school, trying to like figure out what you're going to do with your life. And then kind of, it's weird, it kind of was an epiphany one day, like when that was talking about meditation, where I actually realized that I couldn't, or you're about to get kicked out. Yeah, right, but I'm Oh, okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> 16. Yeah, I was 16, 17, and then playing high school. I was like, I want to be an actor! And then I was going to be an actor! And then we <laughs> saved me an actor. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Give it all up. All right, you guys. That's it for the panels for today. But don't forget, we got the concert tonight. We got Mercy Mo. We got Chris Brochu. We got Mike Malarkey. So come on up. Party with us. All right. Mercy mode, you guys take us out of here.